This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com and today we're going to be talking about stretch and skin. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, now that that's over, stretching skin. What is stretching skin? Stretching skin is stretching skin. When you're doing a tattoo, you stretch the skin so that you can do the tattoo. And this is about most of the information I've gotten from people when I try to interview them the first decade that I was in tattooing and just like you just do it. No one really knew why. I mean I heard ideas about maybe like possibly why you would do it, which we'll go over those at the end here about the do's and don'ts. How about that? The do's and don'ts of stretching skin. Let's start out here. Stretching skin is important because one, it makes it so the needles can go into the skin a lot easier. How does it do that? Increasing skin Jeez, I can't multitask at all. Tension. Okay, it's the first one, increasing skin tension. How does that, what does that mean? Okay, you think about the needle that you're using. If you're using a rotary, if you're using a coil machine, if you're even if you're hand poking it. The skin on average is really, really pliable, or at least my sleeve is an example here. We have a needle that's gonna be striking down into it. If the skin is not pulled taut, it's just going to end up stretching the skin down with the stroke or motion or whatever the needle is and that epidermis, the top layer of skin that's protective, is just going to stop it from coming any further in, right? it will end up bouncing it back, coming out, and the skin isn't going to need, is not going to be able to get down to the depth necessary to actually put the pigment in the skin. It's just going to become superficial. Tint the epidermis and the epidermis is going to shed and then the tattoo will fade away. So increasing skin tension will make it easier for the needles to actually go down to the depth that they need to do. That's that's technically just stretching skin. There's another reason why we do it though. So two is going to be aligning uh, skeletal muscles in the skin. Talked about this a few times before. Skeletal muscles in the skin are just around the hair follicles, the kind of string throughout the body. They you can see them in action when you see goosebumps, right? They just contract and they pull. Um, why are these important when you're doing tattooing? Um, these fall into the, like, I guess the cluster area, things like chrysolines, uh, skeletal incision, or surgical incision lines, so that you can tell how the skin is naturally going to tear or spread or split when you're making a deep wound into it, right? Um, tattooing shouldn't be a deep wound, but we can utilize these same things when trying to increase the ability to create skin tension so that the needles will pass easier through the skin and deposit the pigment in the top layer of the dermis. We're not gonna, well, we'll make a video about how to actually identify this stuff, but that's that's basically it. This is why you stretch the skin, right? You're trying to make the skin ready and able to accept the needles so that they can deposit the pigment in the top layer of the dermis so that the tattoo can become permanent. So, these are our do's. Yeah. What are our don'ts? And these are some of the things that I've heard throughout my travels in the past 20 years, which is just weird. Some of these are don'ts. Let's just go over the don'ts. This is not, I mean, if they are real, I've never found any scientific data to back any of this stuff up. I feel it's more of like an empathetic feeling about what's going on, but remember this one is gonna be uh, making the skirt, the making the skin even. Okay, so. The idea with this is that if you stretch the skin because it's just kind of like a bunch of bubbly mess, you know, you can make it thinner and straighter. And that way the needle doesn't have to go through as far in different areas and the tattoo uh, will look more even and settled by the time that it's healed. It's just insane. So normally the, the skin is not, like when we show diagrams, right? Where you have the skin set up like this and it's like, you know, the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous tissues. We, we make it really straight and pleasing to the eye so you can identify things much easier, right? When in all reality, the skin is not like that. Like the epidermis can come in like this, you know, and that if you, if you pull it and you're making it straight, I mean, yeah, you can straighten this out a little bit, right? On a microscopic level, but it's not gonna be, <laughs> so straighten out that it's like making it so that the needle is always going in evenly. If you pull this tight enough so that everything is totally straight, the skin is going to tear, right? There's gonna be smaller, weaker spots within each side of these, or each spot inside of each one of these layers that if it's pulled to a certain amount, it's just gonna rip. So realistically, you can't make the skin even. 
when you're stretching it. So I'm just going to do that as like a hoaxy hoax. So that's that's garbage. Uh, the other one that I've heard a lot, we stretch skin to make <laughs> people sit still. Um, that's insane. People sit still when they're not in pain, right? A tattoo is painful. What we're doing to people is inflicting pain to make a permanent mark that they just enjoy, hopefully, you know, whatever the artwork they choose it is. Putting them into <laughs> more pain or more discomfort by like putting all your weight, just beefcaking the hell out of that tattoo is not gonna make them sit still. It's not gonna help you stretching the skin. In fact, it can damage the skin even more. If you're pressing really hard, you gotta force that person to sit still. Just like we said in the previous one, it's not making the skin even, it's gonna traumatize, it's gonna make it start tearing apart. It's not good, it's gonna extend the heal time. People's stress levels are gonna raise, the cortisol levels are gonna go up, they may even start panicking. I'm thinking about it and I'm getting claustrophobic. Maybe that's a bias of mine, I don't know. But if I have it, maybe someone else does too. So anyways, to make people sit still, I think that's just a really bad idea. It's not right. It's not even like, it doesn't work for improving the tattooing or anything. I mean, if somebody was sitting still, then we just wouldn't stretch their skin, right? If they're like, oh, this doesn't hurt. No, there has to be a reason why. Those are the two that you can count on. If there's more, we'll go over it. But I mean, it's just a short video right now. And this is literally all I got. If any of you know more, hit me in comments. I would love to learn. Anyways, that's it. This is Ryan from tattooing.com signing off.